Welcome back to Movie Chat. I'm Steve, and this is a pickups video. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? So as you know, on the live stream this week, I never had any pickups of the week. Now, I found myself buying stuff if it's a, not necessarily a want, if it's a like or just to show you something on pickups of the week. And it's not necessarily what I wanted for my collection. So we've opted to go back to doing this type of video when we've got something cool that we want to show you and we'll do a pickups video or we will show you on the live stream as well um if it's really really good and we, and we just want to show off you know what i'm like i get really excited and i just want to show you what we've got um so this week i took a load of stuff to cex so it was blu-rays that i've watched i'm not going to watch again uh blu-rays that i picked up three for a pound when i only wanted one of them but i had to spend uh, the the rest of it so I ended up picking two extra and I ended up with £22.50 worth of trading now I did take my prisoner box set back to CEX now this cost me £10 in Lincoln when we last went to see little Steve I haven't watched it and I took it into CEX and I was going to get £7 trading for it however they never took it back off me because it said it was too scratched now this is a big bugbear for me because they've sold me this in this condition i haven't watched it so it's going back in the condition that i bought it from another cex it's just a big bugbear you know you won't trade it back in but you sell it in that condition so what have i picked up this week so i got um this really i've been looking at it for a while this is the top gun and top gun maverick uh, two movie sets i've been looking at it for a while little steve and lou have been watching it uh, last week and lou reviewed it in the movie chats and film geeks facebook page so go and join that and uh yeah i picked this one up for 15 quid now i've been looking at it for a while and lana keeps telling me do you really need it and it, i was umming and arming about it but then because it's technically free Yes, I've picked up Top Gun and Maverick. Uh, another one that I've been looking at for a while, and you know what I am like for my war films. I do really enjoy this film, and I just never got around to picking it up because it was £5. The Damn Busters. Now, I do love this film, and like I say, that £5 price tag was putting me off it um, for a while. And like I say, technically, it's free. So, I've picked up the Damn Busters. So I've took loads of stuff in, got £22 worth of trading, and I spent £20 straight away. Um, I did pick up yesterday in game. Uh, where, where were we yesterday? Where did we go? Oh, we went into Liverpool yesterday. So this was in game in Liverpool. It's a Bumblebee-style ratchet. Okay, it's from the film there. So you've got all the Cybertronian look. Um he is just a beautiful figure. Again, another figure that I've been having my eye on, but with it being close to £30 normally, down to £15, it was a pickup. Now, I'm a, I am trying to do a no-spend month in March, and I don't know how that's going to happen. I don't know how that's going to go, because, you know me, I'm quite impulsive. But when I saw Ratchet, uh, the other ones that they had uh, were ones that I've already got, like Ironhide and people like that but yeah ratchet I, I love this figure and like i say he is cool looking you know with this little auto bot thing there one thing i don't do is keep these scenery pieces i haven't got the space for the figures never mind the scenery so if you're a collector let me know if you if you're keeping them yeah and the last thing i picked up this week um was a Funko Soda Pop figure. You know, as you know, I love my Starship Troopers. Um, I've talked about them for a while, and I picked up Johnny Rico. This is a Soda Pop figure. That's him there. 
Now, again, these are normally 10, 15 pounds each, but this one was five pounds and B&M. So, yeah, I thought, well, he's cheap. I pick him up. Um, should we open him? Should we open him now? There you go, live opening. Let's have a look which one we've got. Because apparently there's two different versions of this. There's a normal one and a chase one. And I don't know the difference. What's this at the bottom? Alright, so it's not a chase one. But it is one of 3,340. So, there you go. And now let's open them up. See what's packaging and stuff like this. There we go. Little Johnny Rico. I love the little tattoo as well. Death from above. Yeah, I quite like that. There you go. We'll put them. We'll put them there. So you'll see them on the live streams. All right. So that's what I've picked up this week. Now I've got to go and tidy my room and try and find space for all of this stuff. Um, bear with and what I'll do is that I'll show you around the room once I've done so see you in a minute bye bye right so the room has been tidied now so let's have a look what I've got so there's me alien queen and me power loader I missed these guys out of my Star Trek collection video the other week there's me little data and there's me Star Trek cats book here's Unicron and Optimus, that's the Unicron that Lana got me for Valentine's Day, just so you can see the size of it, there you go. And you've got my Star Trek plates, there's my uh, Quark, and the Troy applause mugs, there you go, there's DS9, we'll come down this way a little bit. So there's all my Eagle Moss and my Playmates figures for Star Trek. And down here is me Aliens and Predators. So these big ones at the back, they were present from Little Steve. They're NECA figures. They're quite cool. I love them. And me uh, Colonial Wars power loader. There you go. Look at the detail in that. And then this was a present from little Steve when we last went to see him. I do love that. And that's one of the Smiths um, predators. And those uh, reaction figures at the back, the, 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 the packed ones, they're from Chris Hayden from Cookie and the Haydens. Go and, sub uh, go and subscribe to Cookie and the Haydens. And then coming down here, Star Trek, so there's my tricorder, my communicator, my Klingon battle cruiser, the encyclopedia and the Enterprise. Then I've got more aliens, a Figma figure over there. Now that queen goes with that little predator there. There you go. I love this one. A xenomorph taking a face hugger for a walk. And I've got more Star Trek Playmates and and the Eagle Moss. Then I've got my Marvel Funko Pops. And my Steel Box. I do love that Hulk uh, box set there. That's got the DVD in and the comic and a couple of postcards. Then down here, it's just all little bits that go together so there's me Johnny Rico that I was just showing you Defenders of the Earth with Ming and Flash there you go and I've moved my T2 display from up there where uh, Unicron, is, uh, Unicron is and I've moved them down here to make space for them 
And we'll come down the centre place. So there's the S9. There's the prisoner box at that. I tried to trade it. There's me dead Optimus Prime. There's the shuttle I picked up the other week from game. There you go, Star Trek and Attack on Titan. We'll come over this way. So the bottom shelf still needs sorting out. That's all my little collectible bits that I haven't really got home for. I do love the little potato heads over here. And there's my steel book and my collector's coin. There you go. So as you can see, I'm beginning to run out of space. So there's the new ratchet I've just bought up. I've just bought. There's one of the uh, Transformers lights. There you go. So there's the other Transformers light. Now, I did try and put it on the wall properly, but it doesn't sit. So I've ended up putting a bracket on it and Lana went nuts. Well, there we go. There's the Battlestar Galactica Viper. I do like that. And the Blu-rays. As you can see, I've not got that many now. I'm slowly getting rid of them. As I'm watching them, or I'm keeping them. Depending. See, I've got a little bit of space there now. And I've moved me box sets from over that centre console so I can get the fixture shuttle in. And up there, I've got my Snake Pliskin and my Big Grimlock. There's my Mandalorian helmet that Lana painted for me. There's the NX-01. That's quite cool at the back. That's a remote control uh, converting plane. So it's like a cheap start, uh, transformer. Present from Little Steve. These are presents from Peter Evelyn. There's me GoBots Command. That's the Enterprise. The Kelvin Enterprise that I got from Andrew, Money Mental. Stormtrooper's helmet. There's the entity shuttle from the Enterprise. That's a CD holder. There's a Vortra Battlecruiser. A Transformers water bottle from Universal Studios. Got that from Chris Hayden, Cookie and Hayden's. There's my Destiny shelf. Now we start getting into the Warhammer now. Now, the plastic thing they're sitting on, it's actually a cake stand. Lana picked it up for me. I think it's a brilliant way of um, showing off the, the models. Now, I've shown these to Chris Hayden, and he didn't believe that I was painting them. Well, yeah, that, that's me come and go, and these are all work in progress. I've got more Warhammer, big McFarl uh, the big McFarlane figures. There's the Halo. More Halo. Don't miss the series. So there's the Halo Legends and there's the Steel Book of Halo Three. Uh, Halo Wars, sorry. More Halo figures. And then my Ladybird books and my books and stuff that I need to get out on the shelves. So there's the first picture wall. I do love those Iron uh, Hulk and Iron Man. So there's my Punisher that I picked up the other week. Makes me Judge Dread. These comics make great pieces of artwork as well in the uh, in the frames. Yeah. 
There's my signed Balanotaurus Roxanne Dawson picture. There's the little face hugger that she's allowing me to have. And my Chubba Chubbs cap. The build, my only builder bear that I own is Spock. And I've got Scrooge McDuck and Bugs Bunny there. There you go. Subscribe to Cookie and Hayden's. Okay, we'll move over to Star Wars. There we go. Actually, so I'll show you what I've got here. So, up there, I've got the Predator and Deathstroke helmet. And I've got me Manalian Falcon, the X Wing, there's the Ghost. 8080 and a Y ring, sorry, a B wing, and then a couple of figures. That's the uh, radi the radar laser that I picked up when we went to Wrexham Game Con. There's a couple of Star Wars MMs. More Funkos and figures. So I've tried to keep them together in the groups. You know, up here is like my attempt of uh, Return of the Jedi. Then you've got all the baddies there. Couple of stormtroopers, Rex and Cody, scout troopers, and then a few little bits and bobs up this end, and then between the there you go. So there's a stormtrooper, eighty eighty pilot with the uh, Tie Fighter, an X wing scout trooper. And then if you scroll down here, there's my Vader. So that's how that wall looks at the moment. And then we jump over to the final couple of pieces. So there's me Transformers, Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. There's my Transformers stamps. And Sergeant Cup. Now, the older and older I get, the more I realise Cup was actually correct about young people. There's the poster from Lou and little Steve. There you go. That is quite cool. It was a bugger to find a frame for it. Then me X-Men stamps. And you know, there's the Joker and Punisher. Star Trek comic. Catwoman. Scrooge McDuck. I do like this holographic bookmark. That's kind of cool. And there's my Transformers comic. And if you ever wonder what I watch on YouTube, there you go, the Leicester Toy Shop. There's the Toy Shop on tour. So, yeah, see, I get influenced in everything I do. A little bit of Q. And then there's me, Shockwave and Soundwave. So there you have it then, ladies and gents. That's me pickups and that's the room. And as you can see, I'm slowly... Oh, well, I'm not even going to say slowly run out of space. I've run out of space, you know, for for what I want to collect. Um, so I'm definitely operating a one in, one out policy at the moment. I've got a load of stuff there that I'm going to list on Vinted uh, to get, hopefully, get rid of some, move some along to other people that want it, you know, reasonably priced because that's what I've got it for. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we like to put regular content out. And, you know, if you've 
stayed with us for the full 20 minutes of this video thank you for doing so um, and I'll see you on the next live stream so I've been Steve you're watching Move Chats see you soon bye bye